The total hours expression is in the category time and has a result of a decimal data type. The purpose of this expression is to calculate the number of hours in a given duration. The total hours expression has one parameter, a duration whose hours you want to calculate. The result is the number of hours in a given duration. Let's look at an example. Here we can see we're calculating a duration based on two times, 12.30 p.m. versus midnight or 12 a.m. This would return a duration that would look something like this, 12, 3, 0, 0, 0, Oops. 0, 0, there we go. 12 hours, 30 minutes, and 0 seconds have passed. Now, this would not just return the component 12, which is the number of hours. It would calculate and count the entire number of hours from the entire duration. This would return 12.5, because 12 and a half hours have passed. This can return up to three decimals, based on the number of seconds that have passed. This is an important distinction between this and the hour expression. It will not just return the hours in the hour component, but will calculate based on the entire duration. I hope that this was helpful. If you would like to learn more, we invite you to check out appsheettraining.com.